back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, we were just resting. Once again, we got interrupted. Uh, Captain Robard came in the middle of the night and woke us to tell us there's this procession coming into Talberg, and we had to go to the battlements immediately. Problem is, it's pitch dark outside. We don't know our way around, so we need a light. But there is a torch behind here, they said. So, there we go. If you need a light at night, use your torch by holding one. But if you want to keep your left hand free, for example, to use a shield, it's better to drink Nighthawk Potion for better vision. Is it one? Yep. We could probably just go back to bed, but it seems like we're actually doing okay. Lockpick very easy. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have any lockpicks. Guess we're going up top, probably. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight, but if I have to choose a place for one... Then right here behind solid walls is it. True enough. Gentlemen. Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> what's happening? Do you know what's happening? No. Okay. What about you? Me? How could I? I saw you with Sir Robot. Didn't he tell you? No, anything? he just told me to come no, here. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, good chat. Ah, uh, you might be right. For sure Sigismund ain't no fool. A backstabbing swine, maybe. But no fool. You're right there. Good health to you. Everyone's greetings are so nice. What's happening? Have you heard anything? No. Nothing from it these could guys be Sigismund's either. Sigismund's army. Or his scouts. Or maybe Scarlet's folk who survived the pillaging. I wouldn't expect nothing good. Okay, clearly. Do you think we can drive back Sigismund's forces? I reckon so. Yeah, seriously. See how many there were? These guys don't even know. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe well. it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. Oh, that's great. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. That's such an interesting attitude when it could potentially be people that destroy your entire livelihood. The idea that they wouldn't come at night is interesting, as well. They lost the element of surprise, but still night would be better, wouldn't it? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Whoa, so really? It. What a relief. Is his lordship there what? with you? How? Yes, sir, he is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good <laughs> night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing, either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. They I'd snuck out. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? <laughs> he made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes yep, and okay. left storming the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. 
When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, I what guess, but what there? would stop him? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I think so. I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. Are you for real? I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. <laughs> Are you tired of living? <laughs> sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, Can't really argue with that. Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Hovel of Baldic. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you grown a funny, thick actually. skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark time. Radzig kind of reminds me of a less sketchy little finger. Well, okay, good for them. That's amazing. Did not expect to see them anytime soon. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, <laughs> I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Henry! Are you serious? I need to have a word with you. Gee, sorry. This guy, like, these guys, wow. Are you serious? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? <laughs> I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course okay. I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Maybe I could have some are armor. Are you serious? <laughs> hey. Jeez. Okay, um, well. We're, uh, we're keeping watch. That's great. Unexplored place, okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go up here with the others. So Robert didn't want to leave anything to chance. He posted extra guards in the battlement and ordered me to join them. Oh, didn't want to do that. God be with you. What do you think about the Scalitz folk fleeing like that? What do you think about how the Scalitz folk managed to flee the siege? Thank the Lord. I thought it was Sigismund descending on us. It seems everyone thought that. Well, we were all expecting the worst. And the truth is, I'm still worried what will happen when Sigismund comes here. And come he will, of that I'm sure. I just hope we'll be as fortunate when we're face to face with that fucker. By the way, Henry, my condolences. Thank you. Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch, eh? <laughs> Could you tell? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. If you have to wait for something, you can pr 
skip time. Press T to set how long you want to wait. Watch out though, tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. So wait till morning. So one of the interesting things to me about this whole situation is that may, like in these times, I understand that like there's different rules for war and there's like certain honor to it. Admittedly, I don't fully understand it, but like what would what's stopping Sigismund from coming and just demolishing this place? I don't think much of anything. However, um, if we, if uh, Divish, I believe his name is, if he just like bends the knee and kind of lets the guy pass through or ask any questions and like is just obedient, then more than likely they'll be okay. Jeez. But I find that really interesting because you would think that they would just come storming through here. So, look at this. All right, let's see. So it's uh, five o'clock. Let's go till uh, seven thirty. See if that's morning enough. Oh, okay. What's happening now? Nothing. Okay, let's go. I don't even know where I'm going. Go to the battlements of the Outer Bailey. Great. Okay, don't want to be doing that, I guess. I'm the rookie out here. I have no clue. I imagine this is them. Oh my god. See how the self appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. <laughs> You may be in for a surprise, but don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Why? This is what I need to understand. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scullis. Whoa, Kill whoa, whoa, Earth. cool it. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? That's the polite. Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. Only he could deliver. Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Okay. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. <laughs> Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not at Tarnberg 
and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from Jeez. which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. That guy is so well I spoken. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh no. Okay, I think that's good. I'm a bit surprised that they wouldn't want to come in and search. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. <laughs> Okay, so we need to bury our loved ones in Scalitz at some point. Talk to Sir Robard, get a horse. Wow. Okay. My hometown was attacked by foreign soldiers and many people got slaughtered. I couldn't get inside the castle before they closed the gate, so they sent me to Tallenberg. Oh, boy. The threat of the attack is gone. Okay, so they've left, so we can get back to Scarlet. It's my duty to bury them. Only how can I do it? My lord forbids me to leave Talenberg. I should talk to Captain Robard. Maybe he'll help me get out of the castle. And I should take my horse. Scarlet's is a long way from here. Did I, tell you my no. I guess we don't need this anymore. Wait. Oh, he's right here. Robard, sorry. Damn. I need to talk to you. <laughs> Damn. God be with you. Look, um, what do you what do you think he's really after? Like, he, um, yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know what his real deal is. To be honest. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin Jobst. And that yeah. cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Well... <laughs> Maybe he was afraid of the insurgents. Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kuttenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, 
the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. Okay. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Jeez. So then... Skalitz, I assume, was to do with Radzig? Why did Sigismund burn down Skalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is yeah, one of those. Okay. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Wenceslas's. What do you know about the humans? Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, <laughs> because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my See, that's what I need and to learn more me, about. It's always about power and money. The rules of warfare. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I know, but... Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a tough one. Wouldn't you do the same if you were in my shoes? So, Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, oh, but man. I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Damn. All right. Well, maybe one day... He'll let us leave. So, that's going to be tough. <laughs> that is going to be tough. Now, there's a couple of things going on in here. There's like these unexplored places, and then there's this as well. Activity giver. <laughs> Let's see what's back here. Maybe it's inside this area. Private area. Whoops, sorry. I don't suppose God he's gonna let me out. With you. That business with Sigismund turned out well in the end, didn't it? Aye, that was a good start. Now we need to drive him and his war horse out of Bohemia. <laughs> war good. horse. Okay. Is there a trader near here? Is there someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good hearted. Especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> I don't really have any coin. For anything else, you should see a fellow called Votava. Folk aren't too fond of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. <laughs> but he can get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. All right. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. <laughs> but it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate. And you especially are not to be let out. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. We don't have any money. He didn't give us permission. But maybe we could get some compassion here. The don't you know who I am card isn't going to play out very well, I don't think. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I, can't I still don't think he's going to gonna let us out, but... I'm sorry, Whoa. my friend, but I can't. Oh. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, 
or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, <laughs> forget it. Interesting. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? Okay. If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. Okay. Right. I'll have a look around for something. Interesting. Talmberg armor. Oh, I like this. I like where this is going. Is this our guy? Good day to you. What do you need? He doesn't look that bad. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. I'm just curious to see what he sells. Bandages, mushrooms, wine, meat, lockpick. Cost 18? I have <laughs> I have nothing. Wow. Alright. We're gonna have to figure out a way to make money. At some point. For now though, we at least have a spot where there's armor, but I imagine that people are gonna be in there. Oh, I know where this is. It was it's in that room that we uh this one right here. Oh boy. Oh, I don't have lock picks either. I bet you it's in there. So we need like a lock pick. More lock picks. Can I just take this if no one's here? If you steal, make sure no one sees you, but even selling the loot isn't easy. You might get away with selling a stolen apple, but we're looking around if you steal something valuable and traders will recognize it. Try going to a trader as far away as possible from the scene of the theft, or find someone who deals in stolen goods as a matter of course. Offense. Okay. Okay. I'm taking these. It's a matter of principle. So I don't think this guy that we met would be open to... selling this stuff, but... I wonder, is there a way that we can make some money? Maybe if we find that... Activity giver. We could make some money. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to get us in trouble. I'm almost... I'm convinced, actually. It shows us, like, what's been stolen. So there's these ones that say they're not stolen. Maybe I could sell those for, like, a lockpick. Maybe a torch. Let's go and see... ...just how much a lockpick would cost. As long as we don't sell the stolen stuff, I think we'll be okay. See, look at all these. Everything is... everything is locked. And even if we do get a lockpick... How come I can't, uh... Okay, nice. The save and the reload worked it. Um, when we saved, it uses up one of those... Um... Save your schnapps. You can save it any time, but it does use that, so we're going to have to make sure that we get more of those. Alright, let's see if this theory will work. Can we sell some of this stuff? Because, look, if you notice, not everything is marked as stolen. So, like, these, this batch of arrows, fine. I'm going to see if we can sell enough to get 
a lockpick. Hopefully this guy has one. My respects to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. All I, I, ha I don't have coin, but I have arrows. So he's got a bunch of lockpicks, actually. They're 18 gold. Let's see if we can somehow get up to a couple of them. We could sell, like, all of these. Won't quite be enough, but... I can also sell them... These that aren't stolen. The wine. Is there anything else? Marigold decoction is actually a decent amount, but I should probably keep that. We don't need two lockpicks. We only need one. Let's maybe just not be greedy here. We would get 11, but he only has 10. So let's just drop this down. There we go. Actually, let's save our wine and let's haggle. See if we can get this for like a, a an even trade or something. Die. Okay. We don't even have to be super greedy. What do you say to this? That's too much. Really? <laughs> He's like... Alright, fine. He's at zero. I guess we'll go as close as we I, can. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Okay, fine. Great deal, I guess. We do have lockpicks, so... Guess what? Oh, I wonder. Oh, I can't take that axe. We're definitely gonna have to figure out a way to make money at some point. There is that activity giver over here. But... Nobody's in here. Okay, cool. Alright, now. Lockpick. Very easy. You learned locks. Please tell me what to do. Nope. Uh, help. Okay, in order to pick locks, you must have at least one lockpick in your inventory, although it's better to have one or two spares since they get worn in use, with use, and the worst case can break. You start the actual lockpicking process by holding E on the lock. You will then see a diagram of the lock mechanism in which you have to find the right spot to insert the lockpick. Then you have to use the lockpick D to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lockpick with the rotation of the mechanism because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. Okay. How close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor and it turns gold when you find it. If you try to turn the mechanism without having the lockpick in the correct position, the mechanism will stick, which will damage the lockpick or even break it. Any damage to the lockpick will produce a noise, which can draw unwanted attention, and breaking it will cause an even louder snap. So if I move this thing around... Okay, oh, okay. So that's the sweet spot. Now, as I turn... It's shifting this, so I have to shift with it. Whoa, that is like... That moves quick, too. Okay, we're totally robbing this. We're gonna take the Bardiche, the Bassinet, all of this. Oh, boy. God, we got it, though. Oh, we totally got it. Now, let's, uh... Throw it on, shall we? Equip. Equip. Take off our green shirt. All the stolen stuff. All the stolen stuff. Do we have boots too? No, we don't. That's gonna have to do. I hope that that works. Now, we also need... Where are we? We need to get a horse. 
Is that back here? Yep. Can we just take any horse? Mount and steel. Oh, God. Inspect horse. My horse, other horse. Where's my horse? That's definitely not it. Oh, Elena. Okay, this is our horse then. Beautiful. She has a name and everything. Okay, just, just walk it. Be cool. Everybody just be cool. I'm totally a normal guard here, okay? Undercover. No problem. No problem. Should take my horse. Oh boy. Hello? Can you let us out? Radam. God be with you. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Oh. Ah. I see. <sighs> yes. All right, then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone. I can't believe it worked. Hey! Open the gate! Now, uh, we have a thing for horse in here, but still nothing I can really do there. <laughs> We are gone. What direction do I need to be going? It says get a horse, but we have the horse. Yeah, this is a serious jaunt. Now, it looks like we could jump here. Otherwise, do we have to make the whole run? I'm all for exploring the countryside. Not in our way here, it kind of like cut halfway. Whoops. It's a temporary camp. Oh. We did it.